Hello everyone, welcome to, to another video. My name is Sanjay Pokas and today in this video I will tell you how you can be a Microsoft Certified Trainer. If you love teaching then this you are on the right video, right? In this video I will tell you how you can get certified by Microsoft and you can get a Microsoft Certified Trainer badge which is validity for one year and uh, now after that you can be treated as a microsoft certified trainer and it's not about being a microsoft certified trainer you can get more benefits i will explain in this video in details now let us get started so uh, if you can see my screen right here is the details journey how to be a mct right to be a microsoft certified trainer you have to follow some steps like the first thing is you can see here the first thing is you have to complete the minimum requirements for entry to microsoft certified trainer right the first thing is complete certifications eligible for mct you can see here in my screen the first thing is you have to complete the certifications you can see here the certification that you can complete is listed here right you should be a Microsoft Certified Power Platform App Maker Associate or you should be a Power Platform Developer Associate. So the list is endless, right? If you go here, I have already created this one. If you click this uh, list, complete list, it will let you go to the Microsoft website where, let me copy this link and go here and paste it. And this website and this page will give you the list of uh, certifications that you have to complete first you can see here if you are working in azure then you have to complete azure administrator associate or if you are working as a developer in azure you have to complete azure developer associate like if you are working in dynamics 365 you have to complete dynamics 365 sales functional associate right so you have to go through all these options and uh, choose one certification and you have to complete that first right after you complete that you have to you have to show or demonstrate your instructional skills right so this is the first requirement you have to complete a set of certifications to uh, to be able to you know uh, enroll in microsoft certified training program the next thing is you have to demonstrate your instructional skills how someone will understand that you instruct you have you know that quality to instruct others or uh, you can give training that's why you have to demonstrate your instructional skills verified by one of the following right you can see here uh, camtia ctt plus essential educate trainer internal microsoft certification then we have fourth dimension technology so main, these are the you know uh, certification uh, and these are the organizations who give you certification about your instructional skills right and uh, if you want to uh, list out all the if you want to see the list of all organizations that uh, give you a certification of uh, demonstration or instructional skills you can go here and in the same website you will see here in the list so these are the instruction uh, institutions which give you a demonstration or a instructional uh, certifications right or if nobody is available for you you can provide a reference supporting at least one year uh, of instructional experience right you can also give a personal reference to someone let's say you are training in your company and you are uh, giving training in your uh, you know personal or in private institution or you are giving training to your company uh, batch by batch as a trainer then you can also give a personal reference and the personal reference should be your manager or anyone who knows about your training capabilities right once you give the personal reference the an email will be sent to the person and the person has to approve uh, about your uh, demonstration skills right now once that is approved so this two is minimum so one is a minimum certification and the second one is demonstration demonstration certification of your instructional skills that means you are giving training somebody should know that you are yes you are giving training right now if you will uh, know microsoft will provide a mct certification to a person who do not train others that's not a good thing right that's why this two is minimum one is you have to clear the minimum certification 
next you have to clear the you have to demonstrate your instructional skills like if, if you have a YouTube channel you are managing and everybody know that you are instructing others then that's you can give the personal reference next once this two things is completed you have to apply MCT application online right so so this two is the minimum requirement and next you have to apply using enrollment tools right I have given here enrollment tool uh, link you have to go to this link let me copy this link and go to here right if you go to this enrollment uh, uh, tool for MCT you will see that there are many options available here first the profile will be verified if you are eligible for MCT entry or not then the requirement will be analyzed then terms conditions you have to approve you have to agree then you have to confirm by providing in details right as i have already applied it is all succeeded uh, all completed but i will tell you how you will you will proceed with uh, from scratch right now here you will see there is a complete guide okay if you want to read more about mct online then you can go to this guide which is a pdf guide and it will give you the full program analysis or program steps you will see here step by step it is given here entry requirement what is the entry requirement of this program what should you do for first step what is the next step right how to obtain identity or uh, matrices from your microsoft training uh, institutions or evaluation tools so that you, they can evaluate your training program like that you have to agree uh, the uh, you have to agree about the agreements of the MCT program right then you can submit your application right now if you go to your uh, dashboard also you can uh, renew your or apply for MCT or renew your MCT right so this is the guide and the next is certi leverage certification dashboard if you open your Microsoft dashboard also uh, you can uh, apply for Microsoft certified training uh, program right so this is the dashboard of Microsoft if you scroll down you can see here become a Microsoft certified trainer now if you possess all of the minimum requirements you can click on become a Microsoft certified trainer which will uh, redirect to the Microsoft certified training uh, website here you can click on apply application process or you can use enrollment tool as I have already shown you here uh, to apply this for MCT right and then the en 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 enrollment tool you have to provide the you know, payment if it is applicable uh, and uh, that's all right now let us go another here I have given enrollment guide if you click on this if you copy this enrollment guide uh, you can go here and check that PDF so this is the Microsoft certified trainer enrollment guide and here everything is uh, depicted here while enrolling a new MCT, you have to uh, log in your Microsoft uh, account and then you have to use Microsoft MCT enrollment tool, right? Then it will app first ask you to define uh, to validate your profile. You have to define your employment type, whether you are a Microsoft full time employee or you are a Microsoft Imagine Academy, you are a academic employee or academic or freelancer or government right so if if you doesn't satisfy any of the option you can choose other then once you choose other you have to provide the employment type then you have to provide the primary training audience right you can give developer right professional anything of your choice then the next thing is requirement right the requirement is you have to so the requirement is uh, automatically validated if you have uh, uh, completed your minimum requirement certifications right the next is next is training validation it will validate your training in details then you have to give your certification details the instructional skills right so in this example you will see that uh, the certification is from CEGOS group now you can give the certification details otherwise you can give personal reference if somebody or your manager or any of uh, or any of your peer uh, know about your instructional skills more then you can give the his reference uh, with uh, his organization email then an email will be triggered to that person and he has to approve the next is you have to 
uh, if you are providing personal information you can see here you have to provide instruction institution details then year of experience and you have to provide the reference name and email id right you, you should give the organization email id better next you have to uh, accept the agreements right uh, for this uh, mct enrollment the next next thing is confirmation page right once you confirm the FGT application is completed right and if it requires some payment you can uh, provide the payment at last last thing right so once this payment and confirmation is completed you will get the email welcome email to the MCT in 24 hour to your email box and done right so after you get that email welcome email you can download your uh, badges uh, mct badges from your uh, microsoft site uh, and uh, uh, the badges you can download and you can use it wherever you want right so this is what uh, the steps first you have to meet the requirement next you have to apply mct online through this uh, mct online enrollment tool then what are the benefits once you get uh, mct or you are a su you successfully got microsoft certified trainer program or uh, badge then what benefits you can get i have created a url i have uh, i have uh, linked this url to microsoft site let me copy this and go to here so this is the uh, program benefits right once you become a microsoft certified trainer you can get some mct software and services right you can access microsoft technologies and you can get also microsoft visual studio uh, licenses and uh, some sub subscriptions will be free for you as mct and azure pass program in microsoft azure it will give you uh, some passes and uh, some credits will be uh, given to you uh, some price uh, can be given to you for azure credits then microsoft lab will be provided for you uh, for so that you can use labs for your students course access you can access the courses from the course marketplace you can download all certification courses ready made uh, you know uh, ready made uh, powerpoint uh, slides will be available for you to download so that you can follow that uh, powerpoint slides to deliver training like you can uh, download the training materials uh, from microsoft site and also also remember that it is strictly uh, restricted to microsoft certified trainers only you cannot share with others you should not distribute with others and you should you know you should read the agreement perfectly or clearly before working on or sharing any material that is mct specific to others and also you can uh, visit to microsoft store to you know uh, to purchase or to uh, order your package right the microsoft uh, certificate certificate and the badges and all that will be provided to you you can see here my microsoft certification is uh, stored here in my back right in the showcase so this is what microsoft uh, certification uh, microsoft certified trainer benefits and another benefit is in every exam you will get 50 percent discounts and uh, some some uh, certification exam you will get 75 percent discounts okay and so these are the uh, benefits that you can get you can get practice exams 40 percent discount on person view person view you can get also books and ebooks 40 percent discount from microsoft play store and 50 percent discount on ebooks if you uh, want to purchase right so these are and also the mct central is available for you uh, which is a central place for all communications between different mcts uh, all around the world so you can access this MT, mct central also right you'll see that this is the uh, mct central and which is loaded through my login and i can interact with other mcts and i can uh, i can also uh, watch that uh, how you can better train others by following some ready-made uh, you know videos by microsoft so these are the benefits that you can uh, get while uh, when you get a mct badge or mct certification i hope you got a fair idea that what is the process you have to follow uh, to be a microsoft certified trainer right in my last video i have already told you how to be a microsoft certified professional 
once you get a microsoft certified professional you can apply for you know uh, mct or microsoft certified trainer if you love tra giving training and by following this prerequisites and uh, thank you for watching this video i hope uh, you understand the process of mct enrollment <music>